Hello, welcome to the second video of mine on how to live in your car more comfortably and the things that you may need to make your daily living much easier. TikTok is where I post the most. I do post in the morning and at night every day. I'm sharing views of all the beautiful places I see right now, which happens to be Vancouver Island and I'm in Victoria right now. Plus I kind of share on there how I'm feeling at times, if I'm feeling a little down or if I'm feeling really good. I feel as though it's important to share really what I'm going through as much as I can. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, please hit the like button, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love it so much if you did. It means so much to me be it, to be able to share things with people and to have people joining me on my journey. It's been a lot of fun having everyone and connecting with people. Also leave a comment down below if this is something you'd want to do or if maybe you're doing it and maybe you have a tip for me. One thing I forgot to mention in the first video is to have pins. Um, I have just regular straight pins because they, they work in putting things into the ceiling, like the roof. <laughs> Not really a ceiling, is it? Um, I can put uh, the curtain up there if you want, but also I actually started doing that, but you can see in the roof kind of where, the, where I've put in the pin. I'm putting it into the back of the headrest here and then across to this headrest and putting it in there because it's not damaging it at all. So I'm finding that's working well. Always have elastics in your car so that you can keep everything tidy and neat. I wrap up all my cords, like my electric toothbrush cord. Yes, I actually charge my electric toothbrush. <laughs> as well as um, my phone cord, my computer cord, even my belt when I'm not wearing it, I roll it up and then I put an elastic around it. Just is a good way to keep tidy. I find I'm really reaching for elastics a lot. I didn't talk about where I brush my teeth. I just do that outside or else in my car with a bottle of water and a cup. Just brush, spit, rinse, done. My hair, I shampoo my hair. It's so short that it doesn't, it's so easy to do. I can eat, just wet it. I have a water bottle right here, handy dandy right there for me to reach. I can just wet it right down and actually lather it up while I'm sitting here. And then I lean over outside of the car and I rinse it with a bottle of water. Another thing that you can use is dry shampoo. Not sponsored, <laughs> but this is just what I picked up. It's just the cheap version of, of some, the one that I see advertised all the time. I can't think of the name of it, but this is just a dry shampoo Walmart brand. So you just spray it, Shh, don't do it, well, you can do it in your car, but have the windows down because it's so strong. I I have done it in my car, but I just do make sure the windows are down. It's really bad, really bad. <laughs> I have hand sanitizer, which I just keep in my cup holder here. There's two cup holders, so I have one for my bottle of water and one for hand sanitizer. I also have regular, just regular hand wash, any kind will do. I use that, I keep it in the side of my door. I just have things out here so I can show you. But I just keep it in the side of my door. So when I open up my door, I can wash my hands right there and use a water bottle to rinse. And then I have my towel and I dry. Because you don't want a buildup of hand sanitizer. You can't just use hand sanitizer all the time. So I do wash my hand, hands regularly. At first, when I started out, I thought that I needed a better way of charging things. I thought I needed a solar panel or uh, one of those power boxes, but I discovered that you can just buy one of these things. It goes into your lighter socket and you can plug in your regular, uh, regular plugs as well as your USB if you want to charge something at the same time, you can do that. I can charge my laptop and my electric toothbrush, my phone if I want to, but I don't, I use the USB plug um, that's part of the car to charge it. I charge my phone and any other things I want to charge while I'm driving as much as possible, but I have just turned the key one time, not twice so that everything else comes on, but just the one click and then I 
have my laptop and phone charging. I haven't had it where my battery hasn't worked in my car after that. Maybe I'm just lucky. In the morning, if you have anything against your window, like Reflectix or possibly fabric, which you could cut out to the size of your window and stick up as curtains with Velcro. If you have anything on the window, make sure in the morning you take it off because the moisture in there, it's pretty bad. And if you just leave them up all day and uh, just let that moisture sit and not actually get a chance to dry out, it's gonna be really unhealthy to be living in such a tight space with, with the moisture because it's gonna create mold, of course, and you don't wanna be living in that. I recommend that you sleep where there are people sleeping near you if you're alone and concerned about safety because there's no point in having your key fob beside you when you sleep and pressing your emergency horn to go off when there's no one who can hear it. So that's something to remember if, if you're concerned about safety because I know a lot of people have commented to me that that's what their main concern is safety. I have the unlimited data plan. I have 20 gigabytes of data and then after that it goes to slow unlimited. I didn't know how slow the slow really was until I just found out and it's really slow. It's bad. I, a lot of times I can barely do anything when I'm trying to make a video for Instagram or TikTok. I can't even pick a song. It, it is that slow. So make sure that you are careful with your data if you have something similar to me because I used up 20 gigabytes of data in 13 days. It was, it's been a struggle, but it's resetting now and I'm gonna be way more careful about what I do with my data. And use Wi-Fi as much as you can. If you've got, you can get like um, maps. There's an app for Wi-Fi. Uh, free Wi-Fi spots that I've been using although sometimes I'll pull into a parking spot where it says there's free Wi-Fi and I'm kind of moving a little bit over and over and people must think I'm nuts. I'm gonna go to another parking spot a little bit over I'll back in here until the signal is strong enough. That is when I do any kind of downloading of things like songs for Spotify, movies, Netflix, uh, podcasts, audiobooks, Make sure you're on Wi-Fi when you do any kind of stuff like that. I don't drink past 4 p.m. because I don't want to be peeing all night. That's a good tip too. <laughs> stop, stop at your intake of fluids at an early time, depending on what time you go to sleep. I've been going to sleep about nine o'clock and then I wake up at about five. As it gets colder, it's going to be more of a challenge to have to go pee in the middle of the night just because I'll be so warm in my blankets. I have vitamins, a multivitamin, a B12 vitamin, D, these things are, well, the D is, and I also have vitamin C. The D and the C are in the multivitamin, but I have extra. If you're in your car and you make a noise and you're trying to be careful and you don't want someone to hear you, but let's just say you drop something and it makes a noise and you're like, oh, just don't move for a little bit, just wait. Because when someone hears a noise, they're like, oh, shh, what was that? And then they're like, oh, I guess it was nothing. And then they move on to do whatever it is they're doing. <laughs> I find that people have conversations by my car and they don't realize I'm in here. Obviously they don't realize I'm in here and I don't blame them because it looks like there's no one in here. My tip to anyone out there, don't have conversations that you don't want other people to hear in public because you never know who's listening. <laughs> they had no idea. So you never know <laughs> who is listening. Now you guys are gonna be looking at cars and thinking there could be someone in them. Tinted windows. No, so many people have tinted windows, I'm just joking. My next video that I'm gonna do is going to be all about expenses. The expenses that I have every, not every day, but monthly. My first month was probably the most expensive month that I'll have just because I bought the, the rain guards and a few other things like boots and hat and things that I didn't have, which I realized I needed. The months after that will be less. When I first started, my gas was more because I was driving around a lot.
going to all different parts of the island and then I came all the way down south on the island. So my second month will be a lot less of gas. Oh, look what I'm gonna have. Chicken salad. This is what I was talking about in my first video, the little the little tins, uh, the little cans of um, chicken. This one's chicken salad with cranberries, with uh, crackers. To do this kind of lifestyle, if you really wanted to, and I've heard so many people say they just wanna jump in their car and go. I am doing it the simplest way I could possibly do, do it. I am not paying to go to anything. I paid $5 in five weeks uh, for a museum, a maritime museum, and it was a donation thing. You just, that was it. I don't spend money, as I've said before, going out, so like on restaurants. The only thing that I have to pay is my gas, my grocery shopping, and a few bills like, mm, I have Adobe and Epidemic Sound for my music. I have my storage for from Apple, that costs money, of course. And what else do I pay? My car insurance, I paid off for the whole year, so I don't have to worry about that which is a bonus. I pay my cell phone bill, which is $85 a month. I'm going to do a video about that, but it won't be as precise as it would be if I waited till the two months is over. I will give you an idea of what it's cost me over five or six weeks. And I will say what is necessary, what's not. I am going to look into dropping in at a rec center uh, maybe twice a week just to go for a swim. Don't worry, I'll shower before I swim and after just so that I can get some exercise like that, as well as having a good shower twice a week at least. I did go to a timeshare. I forgot to tell you guys, I was gonna start with that. I just had a two nights in a timeshare that my mom gave me, which was so great. I'm going back to the timeshare in three weeks from now and I'm going to spend a week there. Yay! The only problem with that place is that it had really bad Wi-Fi, So that, was, that wasn't the greatest, but. Other than that, it was a really nice time. I had a, I loved getting away. I loved having a shower. Oh my gosh. I had a vacation from my vacation. And when I got back out into the parking lot, I unpacked because I was home back in my car. I I really enjoyed myself. And after a month of living in my car, I actually needed to break. If any of you are doing this full time, I have a lot of respect for you. You're able to do this because after a month, I did need a break, a mental, a mental break, uh, time to just chill out and restart everything. So if you are doing this without being able to go somewhere, I think you're doing an amazing job because not a lot of people could do that. I think it would be a very big test to push myself past the point of needing to stay somewhere and seeing how it does emotionally affect somebody or could, but I just can't do it. <laughs> I really enjoyed my break. My journey is morphing as I go from one thing to another. It's kind of cool. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for me, please write them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this, once again, please like and subscribe. I really hope you follow me along in this journey. And if you're on a journey, I'd like to follow you as well. Thank you so much for being here and watching all the way to the end if you're still here. I will see you next time.